I just want to share with you the fragrances that I have been reaching for a lot recently. The first one is the Victoria's Secret Pink Warm and Cozy Mist. And you guys, I have been freaking obsessed with this as of recently. I find myself reaching for this a lot when I leave the house, when I go to the gym. It's just that perfect everyday casual kind of scent. It also has a warm and cozy element to it. So I love to wear this, especially when I'm at home during the night, when I know I'm going to stay in. It's just like the most comforting scent. As for the fragrance notes, so it has soft vanilla, it has toasted coconut, and then it has passion fruit. And I find that this scent is a very warm scent, but not overly gourmand, you know, heavy. It's just like the perfect casual warm scent. But at the same time, it has that passion fruit in it, which I find really elevates the scent and makes it a little bit more perfumey. And the fruitiness in it makes it a little bit less um, gourmand. So overall, this was a scent really well done. Um, as you can see, I have pretty much used it all up. I do have a bigger bottle of this. So this is one of my favorites from Pink. The next one is the Bodycology Pink Vanilla Wish. So I got this from Walmart and I heard so much about it from Natalie Grace, um, probably some other people like Self Care Catherine, um, probably Jasmine too. This scent has sparkling pink peonies, warm vanilla, and almond for the fragrance notes. Okay, you guys, when I took this home from Walmart and I smelled it, I was kind of like, I don't know how I feel about it. The scent's okay, but oh my gosh, like maybe after trying it like the first time, um, I fell in love with this scent. It is so, so good. It's a very perfumey scent. So I find that the, I love pink peonies and I think pink peonies are like a really soft floral scent. So I think they're a little bit easier to like, especially if you're younger, you know, like where like rose scents can be kind of like old ladyish. This is not old ladyish at all. Um, but it also has the warm vanilla and almond, which I find sweetens it and kind of makes it slightly gourmand. Um, so it kind of has a twist in here too. You get a little bit of the sweet floral notes and then you get like the sweet like gourmand kind of scent to it as well. So to me, this smells like pink vanilla cupcake um, specifically, but mixed with like into a high-end perfume. This literally smelled like a perfume to me. I could not believe the price on it. I just thought it was so good. But yes, it, it still has those kind of gourmand um, scents to it. But it, then it, at the same time, it's very perfumey, which I find really elevates it, makes it more grown up, more sophisticated, but not too grown up. Perfect scent. I think a lot of ages it would work for as well. The next one is Twilight Mist by Body Fantasies. This one surprised me as well. So I heard about it from, I believe her name's Carrie's Closet. Um, and she really hyped up the scent. And you guys, she did not disappoint. I got this from, I believe, CVS. So the notes, it has so many different notes going on in here. I find the scent to be a little bit mysterious. I can't really pick out exactly what those notes are because there's so many of them. It has coconut, mandarin, orange, plum, magnolia, tuberose, tuberose, violet, sandalwood, musk, tonka bean, and vanilla. So that's a lot going on. Um, but overall, I think it makes the scent very 
perfume like. So this smells like a high-end perfume to me. I would not know it's from CVS, to be honest. Um, kind of like right up there with some of the other perfumes from Ulta. Um, one thing I really do get in this, um, I kind of smell that magnolia. I like that they added the magnolia, which I find is a very um, kind of unique floral scent to put in there. Um, but I love tuberose. I also think the tonka bean and vanilla makes it ever so slightly a little bit gourmand. Um, I love sandalwood as well. Really pretty. And then you really get the mandarin and plum notes in here. So I do kind of smell the notes, but I couldn't even tell you exactly what it reminds me of. It's just a very mysterious kind of perfume. Um, but it just surprised me how good this was. It's so like sophisticated, so unique, so different. I love this scent. And it has so many different notes in it. I find that, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit different, go for this. And this one I have been reaching for a lot when I leave the house as well, especially to the gym. The next one is A Thousand Wishes. Um, I've had this scent before. So I used to use this in the hand cream. I believe I used to use it in like a the moisturizing body wash. But I don't think I ever had it in the fragrance mist before. Um, but when I did, I liked it for like a couple days. And then I was kind of like, I don't know if I really even like like this scent I didn't reach for it a lot um I tend to get nauseated by like a lot of scents at certain times and I think this scent at the time kind of like I just don't want to use it because I was having like nausea but now oh my gosh I can't stop reaching for this scent um I barely leave the house without this like I brought this with me to the gym um I've just found myself obsessed with this scent as of recently. Um, this is just a very beautiful, girly, um, feminine scent. I could picture kind of like the younger crowd really liking this scent, like teenagers or 20-year-olds. So that's kind of why I like it. Like, I'm 25, um, and I don't want anything like too grown-up smelling, but I kind of want something like not super childish either. And this one, it's not like too sweet and like syrupy or anything. Um, but at the same time, it's not like too floral, like powdery. So this is a really great scent. It has, for the notes, it has um, pink Prosecco. Then it has sparkling Keats, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and amaretto cream now i think for me this scent it's very um perfumey and i love perfumey type scents it smells like that grown-up sophisticated perfume um i would not know that this was from bath and body works if i were to just smell it which is one thing i really love about this scent I think the lasting power is pretty decent as well. So that's another plus to the scent. And what I get from this, so you definitely, if you like more like florals, this has some florals in here. I love the peonies. I've noticed I really like peonies as a floral because it's a little bit of a younger floral. It's not like roses. Like I love the smell of like a rose bouquet. But sometimes rose scents can be done wrong, especially if they're mixed with like powdery notes, you know, and this one doesn't have that. But um, the sparkling keens kind of gives it like that sparkling kind of like almost bubbly note to it. And then the amaretto cream, I think that cream, that amaretto cream, which is kind of like an alcohol, I think that they're trying to imitate. Um... And I've smelled that before, and it does remind me of that, um, which kind of gives it like that creamy factor to it, makes it kind of just 
slightly hint of like an almost gourmand um, but at the same time very sophisticated grown-up scent um, this is kind of like to me like the younger sister of you're the one like you're the one still a different scent they still have different notes to them but they still kind of like pair like pretty well together and I find that when I think of one I think of the other I don't have Forever Red, but I'm sure that also would remind me of this one. They also kind of remind me of the smell of Swedish fish, just in the slightest way. Um, this does remind me of the scent of Swedish fish. But overall, the scent is very pretty. It's a very girly scent. Um, so I'm obsessed. The next scent is Into the Night. So this scent really caught my attention when I saw it at Bath & Body Works because the packaging was so stunning. I knew immediately that I had to have it because I have never been so obsessed with Bath & Body Works packaging. Like straight up, this reminds me of floating lanterns and I don't know, just like really pretty um, chandeliers or something. I don't know. But the scent notes in here are Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose, Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. Okay, so when I brought this home, I kind of liked it and I kind of didn't. And then after the while, I did not like this fragrance. I found it to be very overwhelming, very overpowering, again, because I felt like I was having like nausea at that time so this scent just kind of triggered that for me like it just made me feel nauseous I just never wanted to wear it um because I tried to wear it for holiday New Year's and I didn't like it like I tried the the body cream the shower gel and I was just not vibing with the scent and you guys, I knew at one point I was going to like it. I just knew it. Well, I sure enough, I tried it again. Kind of when I went past like kind of what I was having with like nausea issues, whatever. And oh my gosh, it is so stunning. So I still get that kind of overwhelming, overpowering scent with it. I think what I'm not a huge fan of, they put patchouli in it which is very strong and it's a sexy note, but it's a very strong, powerful note. And patchouli can be kind of like an odd mix with certain um, set notes. But then they put mocha musk and I think the mocha in here was kind of like making me like a little bit uneasy. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of like mocha mixed with raspberry. I love raspberry, but I don't love the pairing together. And then the patchouli is just this overwhelming, you know, powerful fragrance. So that was kind of what was giving me like, you know, nausea when I started to wear this. And I still smell that when I first apply it. But when it settles down and it dries down and it mixes with my body chemistry, I find the scent to be so stunning. It's so beautiful. And the lasting power is so amazing. Once it mixes with my body chemistry, I find that this scent is very elevated. It's a very grown up, sexy, sophisticated perfume. Also pretty because of the raspberry in it. I do think that that does add kind of like a slightly more feminine sense to this um, fragrance. So I really love the raspberry now. Um, but oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love to wear this at night. Um, sometimes I honestly don't wear it when I go out. I just wear it at home because I don't really go out like that anyways. But this is a beautiful, sexy sophisticated grown-up fragrance if you just want to smell like sexy this is it this really is it another thing with this fragrance so i know i'm so obsessed with the packaging but i do find it really mixes well with um, my body chemistry 
and I'm sure on many other people too, because a lot of pe other people love it. When I sprayed this, I was like, I should try this with Burberry Brit. For some reason, something was telling me to try it with um, that perfume, and this pairs so well with it. I don't know what it was about it. I used to think this smelled like Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo, but I realize it's a lot different. It's a lot, I don't know. It just, to me, this pairs so well with Burberry Brit. Um, but overall, I've been really loving this. So I have not regretted the purchase anymore. And I want to get the candle version of this because it's so pretty. The next one is my Dolce & Cabana Light Blue. This is the toilette version, not the perf uh, parfum, or oh my gosh, perfume version. Um, and this one is like my ride or die fragrance. It's the perfect everyday scent, perfect going out fragrance, perfect for the gym because 99% of the time, I'm either at home, working, or at the gym. So this is my go-to scent. I wish the lasting power was longer on this because I love it so much. Um, but I do want to try the Intense. The only thing about the Intense is it smells more manly to me. And this one smells a little bit more feminine. So... I'm kind of disappointed about that, but I find like maybe if I try it with my, um, try to actually put it on, it will smell a little bit better. So the scent notes for this are lemon, apple, cedar, bellflower, bamboo, jasmine, white rose, um, and then cedar, musk, and amber. That's what I noticed. So basically the scent is a very fresh, um, and clean scent, even more so fresh, and it's very citrusy. But the biggest thing that I noticed about this scent, so before I thought there was grapefruit in here. To me, it still kind of smells like that. Um, but I did not realize there's apple in here. And I was like, apples? But to me, this smells like green apples, like specifically. It's kind of got like a slightly sourness to it. And... You know, there's a lot of mixed opinions about this scent because it can vary on different people with their body chemistries. The lasting power is not as long, but this is like the most beautiful scent to me. Like it's the most perfectly done, fresh and clean scent. Like I don't like Victoria's Secret fresh and clean. To me, that smells like a cleaner. I know people compare this to Windex, which I actually do see. Um, but the Victoria's Secret Fresh and Clean to me smells like Comet. So this one smells a lot better to me than that and has those fruity notes in here. And to me, they smell like a fresh fruit, um, not like a fake fruit. And I find that's what, to me, what makes this um, fragrance so elevated, so grown up, so sophisticated and overall beautiful. And it smells so fresh. If you want a perfect fresh scent, I believe that this is it. I mean, even in the bottle, like, I could kind of see Windex. But when you spray it on yourself, it really doesn't smell like that way. It just smells like a very fruity, um, but also fresh scent. And I also noticed one thing I really love is jasmine and bamboo. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the bamboo in here, it smells so fresh. I love set notes that have bamboo in it. And then the cedar in here is so beautiful. So this is one of my favorite scents. And oh my gosh, you guys, I used this up in like literally three weeks because I couldn't stop spraying it on myself. <laughs> this is so sad, but I do have another one. I'm going to be a lot more careful with the other one I have to make sure I'm not like using it up but this is like my ride or die scent the best one the best fragrance in my opinion I mean I actually know that there are better scents than this but this is like my everyday scent if I could only have one scent for the rest of my life it would be this so yeah all right you guys 
the other scent that I've been <laughs> reaching for a lot recently is Versace Bright Crystal. So this scent, um, it has Yuzu Iced Accord for the scent notes, sorry. Pomegranate, Rose, Peony, Magnolia. I can't pronounce the other one, um, but it's A-C-A-P-Y. And then it also has um, Lotus Flower and then Amber and Musk. You guys, this scent is very unique. I love this scent. I know it gets some hate, but honestly, the scent is really good. I like the absolute version of this even better, and I would re recommend that one before this one, but this one is also very, very good. This is the OG Versace Bright Crystal, um, and to me, this is like perfect um, for going out and for going to the gym. Like... Um, I didn't think I would wear this to the gym as much as I do because I find this to smell very expensive and I don't really, you know, want to run out of this that fast. But I just love to reach for this at the gym because it has um, some soapy elements to it. To me, it smells a little bit soapy and I find that makes it like kind of like that fresh and clean scent. But it also has like beautiful like floral notes in here. Um, again, we see the rose and peony. I love peony and magnolia is in here. Um, I found, I pretty much find that all the floral scents in here match so perfectly. I love the lotus flower too. Um, and then one of the scent notes I noticed probably the most is the pomegranate. And I couldn't figure out what fruity note in here was there, but it was pomegranate because it's not like Pomegranate isn't like super sweet, you know, because I was like, it doesn't smell like an overly sweet, fruity scent, but I knew there was something in here that kind of freshened it and livened it up a little bit. And it's that. So that's to me why the scent doesn't smell like old ladyish at all. To me, this just smells like a very expensive, um, grown woman, very sophisticated, beautiful scent. Um, I would definitely, you definitely smell florals. If you don't like florals, you probably won't like this scent. But it's not like an old lady, like florals. They're very beautiful florals. So don't be scared of all florals. At least try it. And honestly, I prefer this scent over some of the Chanel fragrances over, I don't know. And I'm, I never bought any of those, but I had smelled them at Ulta. And to me, this smelled better than um, some of the very expensive perfumes, just because it has like a younger kind of like scent to it. It's not, you know, like an old lady scent, but it's still a very sophisticated grown woman perfume. I could wear people, I could picture like people, maybe not teenagers, but people from like their 20s all the way through their 60s wearing this scent, honestly, because it has such a wide range for different people to wear. I could definitely picture my mom wearing this scent if she wore perfumes, which she never does, but this would be, the absolute version would be the one that she would wear if she did. All right, you guys, that is all the scents that I have been wearing a lot recently. Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a great day.